Welcome back to Power Play. Well, a lot can change in a year. For Karen Vecchio, a mother, entrepreneur, and former political staffer, she went from behind the scenes on the Hill to in the spotlight after she was elected as a Conservative MP on October 19th of 2015. Vecchio is the opposition critic for families, children, and social development. I met up with her at an Ottawa cafe and chocolate shop, Café de Lis. So, Karen, we're here surrounded by coffee and chocolate. <laughs> I'm not sure it gets much better. And this is a, a bit of a familiar place for you. It, it absolutely is. Back in the late 90s, I um, and my previous husband, we owned a coffee house in London. And so it was really quite a unique place. We had live music five nights a week. And, and I learned how to become uh, a barista, I'd have to say. Just, wow. you know, and had a staff of about 10 people. So anything to do with chocolate makes me happy. But I also have worked behind those sort of counters for a number of years. And you've juggled a busy work life with a busy home life. You have five children. I do. Yeah, wow. you know, some people think, I think it's the best thing to set you up for Parliament, to be honest. <laughs> you really need to know time management skills. You need to really be able to be solution oriented. And so I think uh, my mother, my 21 years of motherhood experience is probably the best thing I'm bringing to the Hill. <laughs> what do your kids think of Mom the MP now? You know, I, I think it was for them. They've always been part of campaigns. Uh, my previous employer was Joe Preston, who was a member of Parliament for 11 years, and I was his executive assistant. And they know politics. Um, my son, who is 12, has never known anything but mum being involved in politics. I know for my daughter, uh, when she stood here and watched me take my oath, um, they all sat back and, and especially her, she just thought, that's mom. And I've always said to my kids, anything is possible. And she wrote back to me that evening, you know, mom, you're right, anything is possible. I'm a girl from Sparta taking an oath uh, to the queen and to the country. And it was just breathtaking. So you also have an unusual path to politics because as you say you worked around politics you worked for Joe Preston yes. went from working for an MP to actually being an MP absolutely you know my family for many many years um, have been in politics my grandfather was what they would call the bag man he did the fundraising uh, for many years for John uh, John Wise who's the Minister of Agriculture and we've always been involved in local politics whether it was working on a municipal or provincial or federal campaigns we've always been involved so those the, the dinner table was always about talking politics, local and national politics. And so when I got involved with Joe Preston back in 2004, I, I really, that love that I had just continued to grow and grow and grow. And when he decided that he was going to step down and retire, the doors opened for myself and I decided it was time for me to join. Now, how do you juggle having five kids with being an MP? Because it's tough. You're away oh, a lot. You're actually here in Ottawa. How do you make that work? I think a lot of women at home are curious because they might be interested <laughs> in politics, but it's tough to juggle the two. You know, I am very fortunate. I have a husband who believes in following my dream. So Mike and I, when I decided to go for the nomination, it was sitting back with my husband, with my mom and dad and his parents and our children saying, can we make this work? And, you know, my father, he's going to be 80 shortly. Um, he just said, we're there for you. And right now, um, I'm sure he's picking Christian up at 4 o'clock uh, from school today. And my family's all involved. My husband does all that he can do. He's always been a great cook, so I know that they're eating properly. Um, and to be honest, we got a housekeeper. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, I have someone come in twice a month just to help me out. Uh, it's Yeah, you're, you're paying a little bit of extra money that I would have never had to pay before. But the thing is, that was the one thing that was important to me. It was having a, a nice home to come home to. And everything else is going to roll out. And what's the age range of your kids? My youngest is 12. Christian is 12 years old. And then I have a daughter 17, Hannah. Marissa's 18. Garrett's 19. And uh, Dakota is 21. You've been busy. That's amazing. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> what are you hoping to achieve here in Ottawa as someone who's been in small business, who is a mother to five mm -hmm. children, and who has all this practical experience too? Well, the one thing is I'm from a local community. I'm from a community of 36,000 people. Um, Elga Middlesex London is 100, about 111,000 people, and I want to bring small community. And the one thing that comes with small community is personalities. One thing that I like to be is that person that is able to speak and communicate and work with all parties. And I, I think I'm the perfect fit for that. I have my own, uh, my own morals and values, and those are the hometown values is what I want to bring to Parliament. Uh, making sure you connect with people, making you, sure you understand the community, what they need, and that is what I want to do. So I want to bring the message from rural Canada and, and make sure that it's heard here in the House. Well, we're looking forward to watching your journey, and I think so now it's time I. for us to maybe go have some of this Absolutely. And, coffee. and the London fogs are awesome here. <laughs> Thanks so much, Karen. You're welcome. Thanks, Mercedes.